Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala coined an example talking about two of his slaves. One of them he blessed with wealth, garden, filled up with grape vine. Nothing in but grapes. You turn to the other corner or side, you see all kinds of fruits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed. But mainly, you see him blessed with grapes. Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَضْرِبُ لَكُمْ مَثَلًا Coined an example. Set a similitude of two men. To one of them, Allah's blessings are given. The other, not as blessed as the second in wealth. And the one that is blessed with grapes, farm, filled with grapes, instead of being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he acted arrogantly, as the verses will demystify, inshaAllah. And all Mary says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, hafafnahuma bi nakhl. You see the surrounding of that garden, we surrounded the garden with, with trees or palm trees, making it look good and pleasing to eyes. Instead of thanking Almighty and being grateful and humbling himself, come along and this open a loud movie and listen to it. He said, وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمَا زَرْعًا In between, here palm trees, surrounding with palm trees, grapes all around. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in between or between them, we placed all kinds of zara'a, plants or plantations. On the top of that, كَانَ لَهُ ثَمَر The only imam who recited it, thum, um, thamar, is Asim. وَفِي ثُمُرٍ ضَمَّيْهِ يَفْتَحُ عَاصِمٌ So Imam Asim recited, وَكَانَ لَهُ ثُمُرٌ وَكَانَ لَهُ ثَمَرٌ The other Imam is Thumur. وَكَانَ لَهُ ثَمَرٌ He was blessed with different types of fruits. فَقَالَ لِصَاحِبِهِ So he said to his friend, while conversing, while talking to him, أنا أكثر من كمالا I'm richer than you. i.e. I'm better than you. La hawla la quwwata illa billah. Instead of being grateful, he becomes arrogant. I'm better than you in wealth and also I have supporters. So in wealth I'm better and also in lifestyle I have more people behind. Wa dakhala jannata. Behold, one day he entered his garden. When he entered in his garden, when he entered, this is what he found. وَدَخَلَ جَنَّتَهُ When he entered the garden, وَهُوَ ظَالِمٌ لِنَفْسِهِ While wronging himself, not somebody, not his friend that he became arrogant towards. No. وَهُوَ ظَالِمٌ لِنَفْسِهِ قَالْ مَا أَظُنُّ أَن تَبِيدَ هَذِهِ أَبَدًا بَادَ يَبِيدُ بَيْدًا فِي اللُّغَ بِمَعْنَى تَلَاشَ وَضْمَحَلْ Meaning, when something is gone, we say بَادَ يَبِيدُ Meaning, I do not think this provision and this garden of mine will go forever. Meaning, I will never believe that this garden of mine and wealth will perish. Subhanallah. Ma adhunnu an tabida hadhi abada. I don't think that this provision and this wealth and this garden will ever finish or perish. I don't think so. Similar to Qarun, utituhu ala ilmin indi. أَوَلَمْ يَعْلَمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَهْلَكَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ مِنَ الْقُرُونِ مَنْ هُوَ أَشَدُّ مِنْهُ قُوَّةً وَأَكْثَرُ جَمْعًا قال تعالى وَلَا يُسْأَلُ عَنْ ذُنُوبِهِمُ الْمُجْرِمُونَ He, Qarun, acted just like the way this man is acting. Qarun said, this wealth of mine, Allah has nothing to do with it. It's from my own intelligence, prudence, wisdom. I walk for it. It's my money. Allah has nothing to do with it. God is not... The one who gave it to me is of my own calculation and prudence and wisdom. This man is saying the same Qarunic statement. That I don't think this will finish. It's, look, 
many people that Almighty blessed with wealth, strength, power, and leadership. When you ask them, as they are enjoying it, they think to themselves, even if it is four years in the democratic world, they think, you know, it's not going to finish four years that's long. I will remain there forever. He thinks that his wealth will render him immortal, meaning he won't die, or the wealth will not perish. So he said to himself, I don't think this wealth will go. Come on, look around all this. People of strength did not know that a day will come, they will not possess it any longer. Look at the role models of movies. Sylvester St um, Stalin himself, look at him today, old. Arnold Schwarzenegger, look at him today, old. You know, Jean Claude Van Damme, old. Uh, Mike Tyson that knocked people in first round, old. Look at uh, Michael uh, Jordan, old. Uh, look at Kobe, gone. Look at, um, what do you call it, all the people that thought to themselves that they will not die or they have power and the power will be maintained by them forever. They did not know that a day will come, it will what? Go. Now my soul knows that I will not be guided unless I go against it. So a person when blessed thinks that he possesses everything, never will it end. يحسب أن ما له أخلد كلا إن الإنسان لا يطغى الرأه استغنى أو الرأه استغنى. Human being act arrogantly whenever he sees that okay Allah had blessed him with wealth. So that's why Allah says here about this man when he entered his garden and said that this actually will never end. Almighty says that's actually wrong in himself. He did not know the reality. وهو ظالم لنفسه and even guess what? وما أظن الساعة قائمة. I don't even think the day of judgment will occur. Just like the non-believers claim, زعم الذين كفروا ألن يبعثوا قل بلى وربي لا تبعثون. وقال الذين كفروا those who disbelieve say لا تأتين الساعة that hour will never come. قُلْ بَلَى وَرَبِّي لَتَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ عَلَّامِ الْغَيْبِ أو عَالِمُ الْغَيْبِ Almighty says, never, it's not what you think. A day will come that it will perish. So he said, I don't think the day of judgment is coming. وَمَا أَظُنُّ السَّاعَةَ قَائِمَةً Look at those who rule the world. Ask the graves. Do you have them? Graves will tell them, yeah, I got all of them, and they don't even move, and they can't even move a bone in their own system. I kept them silent. Even they tried to talk, you wouldn't hear them, because when the, the earth that they acted arrogant over, now the earth is swallowing them. I don't think that the day of judgment will occur. Even... If the day of judgment occurs and I'm taken back to my Lord, I will find whatever I have in this dunya, it will return back to me. <laughs> Subhanallah, astaghfirullah. Look at how arrogant this man was. I don't believe, he said, I don't believe the day of judgment will occur. And even so, if it does occur, I don't think Almighty will leave my wealth in, in the world. He will bring them to me right here. I will even find that which is better than it. Meaning both. Jannah. Because Allah said we gave him two jannahs, meaning two gardens. Jannataini. That's why he said, better than it. And it is recited minha. Meaning the meme of the meme of it is dropped. This recitation is Hukmu Thabitin Abu Amrin al Basri and Imam um, Imam Asim along with Hamza and Kisai they recited Khayram Minha Munqalaba Wal Baqiya Ay al Jumhur Kalau Qara U Kaula Allah Ta'ala Khayram Minha Khayram Minhuma meaning the Jannatain that Allah referred to he believes that on the day of Qiyamah even if Allah brings him back he will give him better than what he gave him the two Jannatain that's why Allah said Huwa Zalimul Nafsi he actually wronged himself and this is what is happening in today's world 
people who live in uh, um, Venice or Venice or whatever the name is in Florida think like, okay, come on, 100 and um, half, um, like 50 million house. This is my spot. People living over there in um, upper part of New York. This will not, never go away. Like the home 23 of Michael Jordan, you place a person, no, this is my spot. Until the snatcher snatches them, until death gets in and took them out. This is what Almighty says about this man. وَمَا أَظُنُّ السَّاعَةَ قَائِمَةً وَلَا إِنْ رُدِدْتُ إِلَى رَبِّي لَأَجِدَنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا مُنْقَلَبًا قَالَ لَهُ صَاحِبُهُ وَهُوَ يُحَاوِرُ When his friend heard him speaking um, insolently in this arrogant manner, his friend said to him, أَكَفَرْتَ بِالَّذِي خَلَقَكْ Will you now disbelieve in the one who created you? The one who gave you everything? The one who gave you the wealth? The one who has the ability to take it away from you whenever he wants? أَكَفَرْتَ بِالَّذِي خَلَقَكْ And he created you from what? From dust. From clay. From the dust that you have all your vegetations on. He created you from there. So give yourself a break, my brother. Give yourself a break rich man give yourself a, a break if you think you bloomberg give yourself a break if you think you are buffing give yourself a break if you think you bill gate don't come out of the gate that is arrogant gate just close it وَمَا أَظُنُّ السَّاعَةَ قَائِمَةً no don't say that وَلَا إِنْ رُدِدْتُ إِلَى رَبِّي لَأَجِدَنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا مُنْقَلَبًا don't say that will you disobey in and disbelieve in the one that created you. خَلَقَكَ مِنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ مِنْ نُطُفَ And also he created you from sperm drop. That when he touches people, a person's clothes. Even the owner of that sperm drop does not feel comfortable people seeing it on him. He washes it off. And when it's dry and you see it, you say, hey, what is this? Why? Because you know you don't want it on your clothes. That's the origin of your creation. That's how you began. That's how you started. So Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, from that he created all of us. And after that he proportioned you as full human being. Ya ayyuhal insan. O oh, human being, mankind, O oh, human being, what deluded you or deceived you or beguiled you concerning your Lord, the most noble? Allah the one who created you, for sawaka and he straightened you, for adalak he proportioned you accurately, where you, meaning the one who is arrogant about his beauty, or about her beauty, and about his handsomeness, and about how nice he looks, or how nice she looks, and all of that, and Mrs. Universe, and Mrs. That and That, the universe you're talking about, the day comes that you be underneath it with cotton going through your own nose. Your nasal will be blocked. Your mouth that you boasted about will be shut. Your body that you used to uncover and portion of your body, all of that will be gone. So Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about that in great detail. So he said, don't be arrogant. And also Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he returns you back, he has authority to do whatever he wants. 